First off, I'd like to congratulate the Cradle Lady Pirates for tying for second place in district last night. They beat the North Forney Falcons in three games, and they will play them again on Friday at Forney High School at either five or six. We're not sure yet. Second, I would like to say that Miss Tittle told us that seniors, only seniors, this Friday can wear jeans and a senior shirt. Um, so, seniors, we get to dress up. What's up? Okay, bye. Good morning, Pirates. It's Wednesday, October 26th, and the thought for the day is, don't expect what you don't inspect. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please pause for a moment of silence. Please be seated. It's time for Pirate TV. Crandall's Speech and Debate went to Caddo Mill Saturday and took second overall in Team Sweepstakes. Sarah Euchert was first in prose interpretation. Tessa Brown took fourth in poetry interpretation. Garrett Wesley placed first in the persuasive extent, while Dylan Roberts placed third. Nathaniel Linger posted a record of three and zero to finish third in Lincoln Douglas Debate. Peter Irvin was fifth. The team of Garrett Wesley and Graham Flieger took second place in CX debate with a record of 3-0. and Wesley was first place speaker in the event. No. Dylan right. Roberts and Brendan Sullivan were first place in public forum debate. Jessica Lutow and Tori Nolan took second. Zaid Rojas and Matt Barton finished at third, and Stephen Miller and James Bain were fourth. Graham Flieger won the best costume. He was dressed as a Muppet. Crandall Speech and Debate will be headed to Roy City this Saturday. This group seems to have a lot of fun while doing well in tournaments. Maybe you could join them. Talk to Mr. Brown for more information. This is Red Ribbon Week. Today's theme is Hide from Drugs. You could have been wearing your camo today. Tomorrow is Drugs are Wacky, Let's Dress Tacky. So wear mismatched clothing. <laughs> Miss Beaver will be going on tour of the East Coast with some students next summer. New York City, Boston, Philly, and D.C. It's going to be fun. Want to join her? Go to Miss Beaver in room one or 221, the deadline to sign up this Friday, October 28th. FCA meets every Wednesday in room 105 at 730 in the morning. Come for fellowship and donuts and bring yourself a friend. Haven't decided on college? Why not visit a college and see it for yourself firsthand? Check out the portal for a list of college preview days in which you may be interested. When you need a VOE, make your request by 8.30 a.m. If you can do that, then your VOE will be usually be ready for you by the end of the school day. Juniors and seniors planning to go to college need to take the SAT or the ACT. The next ACT will be given on December 10th, so hurry. The deadline to sign up is by November 4th. Go to www.actstudent.org. If you want to take the SAT, the next one will be December 3rd, so sign up by November 8th. Go to sat.collegeboard.com to register. If you're planning on going to college or trade school, you need to be aware of the new law that goes into effect January 1st. It requires all students under the age of 30 who are entering a public or private college to provide evidence of vaccinations against bacterial meningitis. There are clinics in Kaufman, Seagaville, Forney, and Mesquite where you can get this vaccination at a low cost or even for free. See the counselors for more information. This Friday, the Maybank Panthers come to town. It'll be senior night. Kickoff is 7.30. Pre-game tickets are $3 for students, 5 for adults. Tickets at the gate are $6. Let's scare the Panthers by wearing crazy hair in your spirit shirt with dress code pants Friday at school. Seniors wear your senior shirt. And don't forget the senior pep rally. No doubt there will be some silly senior parents entertaining, entertaining us at this week's pep rally. Boys and girls depending on playing soccer need to get their physicals completed. And the paperwork turned in to Coach Dyson and Coach Wade ASAP. So get on it. I'm Ricky. And I'm Blake. <laughs>